Lindy Jones walking out of the 101 precinct station house showing no emotion. He's the first of two suspects charged in connection to the shooting death of Officer Jonathan Diller. Police say Jones was behind the wheel of the car at the time of the deadly shooting in Far Rockaway Monday evening. Officer Diller's death rocked the NYPD, devastated his family and neighbors in Massapequa Park, many hanging blue ribbons in solidarity. Since the shooting, there's been an outpouring of support, the community leaving flowers, candles and cards to remember the officer. At the same precinct, a memorial is growing. God love you. So do I. Rest in peace. We found this woman kissing a picture of Diller. She tells us he was always polite. Well, I was passing the other day, you know, and he gave me way. He said, good morning, ma'am. And I said, good morning, sir. And he said, have a nice day now. And I love him because, let me tell you, I have seven kids and my heart goes out. Tears run from my eye. Prosecutors obtained a search warrant for the SUV Jones was allegedly driving at the time of the shooting. While building their case against both men, Jones and the suspected shooter, Guy Rivera. That's when they say they found a second gun in the glove compartment. Now, during the arraignment of Jones, you found officers standing shoulder to shoulder in solidarity just to send a strong message. They say they will be there for every court date. Coming up at five, you'll hear more on how the community is remembering Officer Diller. For now,